Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on March 31st, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at world weather, space weather and anything else affecting humanity. Start now here looking at the sun, still very quiet for the last 48 hours except for those excitable plasma filaments, northern and northeast region. Looking here, 48 hours incoming images and outgoing. Quite an amazing plasma filament there, ripped away. As well, one on the northern region just before that one erected. Watch closely around the north there and then boom, that was all connected just like the southern filament last week or the week before. Looking here, multi-spectrum. And then here we can really see that there is an earth-facing equatorial coronal hole trying to build itself, but it's not very prominent. Definitely morphing and going through some changes right now. Looking here at a real-time solar wind as we are at about 383 kilometers per second. And we've been steady just on just over 300 kilometers per second for the last couple of days. Zero space weather, really. Looking at the Schumann resonance for today, a quality of 36 and a power of 37 amplitude. Nothing major to report there either. Have a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. And I wanted to show you on USGS first give you a small update on the earthquake swarms that were going on and it seems that they are still going on we're over 300 quakes the last 24 hours uh, still seeing a small swarm here in Mina Nevada as well east of Mina small swarm in the uh, the geysers as well northern California As well, some interesting quakes here are right beside Yellowstone. Nothing major, a 1.8 and a 0.8. So one earthquake to report west of Yellowstone. And as well through Hawaii, oh boy, we just had an earthquake today in the caldera of Mauna Loa. Is Mauna Loa coming alive? Oh boy, I really hope not. But when we get an earthquake inside the caldera, you gotta wonder what's next. We've seen lots of earthquakes along the East Rift, and as well a couple earthquakes surrounding the Kilauea caldera. But yeah, look at this. One earthquake reported. It was, only, mind you, only a 0.7 in the caldera of Mauna Loa. And still looking at about 30 to 50 quakes there on the West Rift. A couple minor quakes there too on the east side. Let's have a look at the earthquake map. The last 24 hours, most recently here, 4.7 Loyalty Islands. As well today, Kermadec Islands 5.1 and then two very deep earthquakes here, 547 kilometer depth, 4.5 Fiji and as well 4.6 Fiji. 581 kilometer depth so stay aware and prepared be ready larger earthquake is coming 6.0 or greater 5.2 there guam as well a rare earthquake here 4.7 mid-indian ridge 
another rare earthquake 5.1 owen fracture zone region arabian plate into africa as well a 4.3 here to report northern iran at 5.2 was china as well a 5.2 here georgetown saint helena mid-atlantic ridge as well the scotia sea south shetland islands seeing a 5.0 and a 5.2 4.5 here in chile and as well bolivia rocking a 4.6 205 kilometer depth and peru a 4.9 a deep one as well so active south american plate quiet through central regions 4.1 there only and as well there 4.1 in dominican big 4.8 to report here in the delta bc mexico border and they've seen some minor rumbles continuing afterwards as well white city still shot still shaking mina nevada saw a large 3.7 today and as well san juan batista the coastline saw a 3.3 california 2.6 and a 2.9 Seismicity quieting down through Alaska. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the planet. Still seeing a lot of microquakes across North America. Looking here at the last seven days, all the elevated rings are the depth of the earthquakes and all of the white rings are the most recent. Just showing you here the last seven days for earthquakes keeping an eye on the planet after those deep earthquakes here in fiji as well keep an eye on china the mongolian mountains turk mongolia be ready have a plan So I wanted to share with you guys here the SO2 maps from windy.com. Now, I only went to this afterwards. I was looking at geostationary satellite imagery and I noticed something big coming. Now, this five-day forecast shows a lot of SO2 moving into the West Coast, nine parts per milligram coming out of uh, Kilauea and Hawaiian Island, as well coming out of Alaska. But then I was, I mean, this is where I had to research the whole thing because I saw this blow up in Nevada and I saw this blow up over Alaska, the east and as well the west regions. Those are really high parts of ash and dust. So I wanted to go to NASA Worldview and try to see if I can see any of it coming and I can't and I'm pretty sure it's wrapped up in these clouds and in the systems that are coming our way there is a low pressure system here it looks like ahead of it there's a bunch of particulates but definitely we do and we'll have an air quality advisory for most of west coast and central regions coming up most volcanoes most recent volcanoes to update Reventador, Sabancaya, Pacaya, Etna, Fuego, and Senge, as well as Dakono, Popo, many flood alerts around the world, Swiss and Najima in Japan, Ibu in Indonesia, La Sufri, St. Vincent, and Cinnabung. So that's about 11 volcanoes being updated today. And Etna definitely has awakened again. And the Iceland volcano continues to fill up the valley. Unbelievable eruption there. So yes, stay aware and prepared. Stay ready. We do have an air quality advisory heading into the country in the long range forecast. No major weather systems to talk about in the oceans as cyclones or uh, hurricanes that are present. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. 
we're going to start out here in Calgary, Alberta. As we're going to be 16 degrees tomorrow. Very warm ahead of another low heading down. But it doesn't look like it's going to head south. It looks like it's going to quickly head north into the Hudson Bay. Wrapping around the high pressure ridge up north there. So definitely our five-day forecast changes now almost every other day. So stay tuned because things almost change overnight. So watch for warm temperatures to come in and then cold temperatures behind this. And we could see a few flurries, maybe some thunderstorms ahead of the front. Definitely parts of northern Alberta you're going to see snow. Southern Alberta you could see some thunderstorms. And then interesting system as well across the east coast high pressure ridge drag dragging down some pretty cold temps as far down as carolina states but then watch as this low pressure system races up the coastline out into the atlantic and then back into the atlantic provinces of canada so the atlantic provinces of canada getting a double lap from the same low pressure system most of the U.S. is staying dry after this system pushes through. Looks like you could be free of severe weather until about the third day of April. Overlooking the Atlantic, still that low pressure system, large one. As well, Europe, small low moving in through Spain and then into the Mediterranean and eastward. And then parts of Northern Europe, Eastern Europe, and the UK, you're going to be inundated by this pretty large low pressure system coming out of the Arctic, out of Iceland, really. So there's a lot of SO2 wrapped up in that. Very strong northerly winds coming for the United Kingdom. Overlooking Africa. No major weather systems to report. Daily evaporation rains. But later in the week, could see some very hot temperatures. Could be up into 45, 46 degrees. They're reporting 43 here. But I'm sure with the Humidex, it's going to be like 50. Overlooking the Indies and Southeast Asia. Still watching that system moving up through Myanmar into Thailand. And then we have a double punch of cyclones here developing south of Indonesia and north of the Australian continent. High pressure ridge hanging out over the continent this week for Australia. As soon as that moves away, low pressure system moving into the coastline parts of Brisbane. You could see some very intense weather along the coastlines there. So heads up. My friends in Sydney. I used to live in Sydney, Australia. And then uh, New Zealand, a little bit of spotty rains over the next couple days, but you could see quite a windy and rainy event, western shores of New Zealand. No major weather systems to affect Hawaii this week. Daily evaporation rains. Later in the forecast, Monday, you could see some rain moving in from the north. And then... Yeah, long-range forecast. We'll see what this low-pressure system does. Looks like it's heading straight for the border with Oregon and California. Low-pressure system affecting BC coastline throughout the week. But a big high-pressure ridge gobbling up a lot of the moisture. Leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern much love to you all. Thank you for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.